Hey friends, today I'm going to be revisiting a bug's life. Hey, who messed with my monitor? I'm trying to make a video. That's weird. This never usually happens. Hey guys, Sam the Man the Batman Man here. I'm collabing with Pengity769 to revisit a bug's life. Oh, it's not broken. It's just Sam the Man the Batman Man. I'm glad you were able to join me today, buddy. Now let's talk about the actual movie, shall we? The animation of Bugs Life still holds up really well, just like how Toy Story holds up really well still, even with its da somewhat dated visuals, but I still think it looks good. Though I'm pretty sure that Sam and Abby would definitely agree that the animation looks so much better than Shark Tale's animation. And to be fair, I really do not want to see hyper-realistic ants in the same vein as the Lion King remake. Also, one thing that I really got a compliment about the animation is the lighting. It is gorgeous for 1998. It still looks really good to this day. Yes, there are future Pixar movies that do have better lighting, but for this time, and even to this day, the lighting is just fantastic. I love how the Bug City and the circus in particular just have human objects used, and it's actually really clever, and it's a cute little detail. Also, there's this shot, which was referenced in Monsters, Inc., Hopper, the villain of this movie, is a huge highlight as well. He's so menacing and he's just really cool. Also, it was a stroke of genius that the writers made him afraid of ants because that makes him feel more three-dimensional and not bland like the Horned King. So yeah, this movie has a great villain, even though the guy that plays him is not so great. Although the guy that does play Hopper's brother is voiced by Bing Bong and he was a delight. Also completely unrelated, but I really miss this opening logo. Yeah, overall, Bugs Life is still a banger movie. It's not one of Pixar's deepest or greatest movies, but it's still really good. Also, Burb. Also, this movie gave us Francis, the transgender icon that we needed. Now I'm gonna pass this off to Sam. Take it away, buddy. I'm gonna give my opinion on this movie. I thought this was a pretty dang good Pixar movie on rewatch. I rewatched it recently and it still holds up. The animation's amazing, as all of Pixar movies are. It's got good characters, good cast, just great visuals, just not, uh, there were a few flaws I had with the movie though. Uh, it was a little too predictable and then the liar revealed cliche, you know how that goes and I feel like the ants were a little too harsh on Flick. Like, I feel like when they, when they, when they banish Flick, uh, they kind of scrap the idea of the bird. Like, I thought that was a little dumb. And then they wanted to just forget about Flick. But then you know that Flick's going to come back and that they'll, that they'll win the battle between the ants and the grasshoppers. I thought that was a little predictable, but yeah, and then the lie revealed cliche. But it's still a better liar revealed cliche than Shark Tales, which you already know how we feel about Shark Tale. We despise Shark Tale. But when we did a collab about that together on my channel, link to that is in the description. And then, yeah, the, those two things, those few things are really the only flaws I have with The Bug's Life. But other than that, I really enjoyed this movie. It's not Pixar's best, not as good as like Finding Nemo for an example, but still pretty dang good. Yeah. It's got some great casts. Like I said, it has... So we have Diego from Ice Age playing Francis. Yeah. He's actually played by Diego from Ice Age. And then we have Elaine from Seinfeld as Princess Ada. And then we got Joel Ramped as Heimlich. And then Kevin Spacey as Hopper. So yeah, it's got some pretty good people for a cast. Yeah. And then that, and this DVD was actually created, was the world, this DVD was the world's first DVD created directly from the digital source. And that this was released on DVD multiple times, actually. Yeah, and that this DVD actually was re-released to promote Finding Nemo. Which I know how you'll feel about that Pengity 769. This is a 2003 DVD release and it was, was only re-released to promote Finding Nemo. This release was. So yeah. Yep. But yeah. A Bug's Life. 
I'm gonna give this movie a 8 out of 10. It's a pretty dang good movie. Well, it's not Pixar's best, but it's pretty dang good. And...